Our second important characteristic is VMA. Now we will draw the graph between why it's a mineral aggregate and the binder content. Whatever the VMA value we have calculated already is being tabulated over here. 14 14.6 13.9 13.8 14 and next 14.3 This is the data Now from this data we are going to draw a graph between these two quantities means PB and then VMA two, 2.5, 3, 3.5, 4, 4.5 and 5 and along the x-axis the value is taken over here and now we will come to the along y axis 13 and 14.8 this is the amount of the air white taken sorry VMA taken along y axis and binder content along the x axis now from the selected value when my binder content is 2.5% value is 14.6 it will the point will come at this point with a 3.5, it is 14.3. Come at this point. With 3.5, 13.9. Next, 13.8. It's again rising, it's to the 14. And with 5%, it is 14.3. It would be like this. When these points are joined, we are going to get a curve like this one. Here I would like to tell you one thing. This portion is divided into two parts. On this side, binder content is less, it is known as a dry. On this side, amount of the binder is more, it is known as a wet side. Now, what will we do? Our reference point is selected binder content PB is equal to 3.63%. It means I am at this point. I will move and it's going to intersect the curve at this point and from this point I will move parallel to x-axis and it is meeting at this point. So here it shows that my binder content is 3.63% with respect to this point the amount of VMA calculated from this graph is 13.9% but how will I go keep one thing in mind this value should be on the dry side this is the dry side condition is satisfied clear it and second Technical specification has set the minimum value. 
let me tell you that that minimum value which is required for the VMA to be accepted as a minimum to 13 point person. It means my calculated value 13.9 is more greater than 13 person. So it means with this binder content amount of VMA calculated is acceptable. Please let me tell you again. We are using the binder content. From this binder content, we are going to find out the value of the VMA, which I have written over here. Now this VMA should have to satisfy the two condition. First of all, it should be on the dry side. Clear. Second, it should be greater than the minimum value set in the technical specification. That minimum value is 13. So it means this binder content is going to satisfy all the technical parameters for the requirement of the VMA. Hence, we can say that up to this stage, up to this stage, our this binder content is being accepted as our selected binder content for the development of the PCI. Thank you for seeing this.